What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So before I get into the content of this video, don't forget to drop a like on the video because it really does help the channel a lot and I truly do appreciate it. Smash it. So thank you very much. So I talk a lot about how technology careers and that field in general is a really good one to look into when you're talking about which degrees you wanna pursue or which careers you wanna go into. And there are a ton of great jobs and careers in this field and this industry, but there are some that stand up above the others in my opinion. And in this video, I'm gonna go over my personal top five. So in this video, I'm gonna be sticking more towards the software, technology, information system side of things. I'm not gonna be talking about anything mathematical related or engineering related, for instance. So the first one on the list is going to be computer and information research scientists. And what they do is they invent and design new approaches to technology as well as finding new ways to use the technology that already exists. Now they make around $118,300 a year, which is extremely good. There's about 31,000 jobs available and they're growing at about 16% per year, which again, both of those are extremely good. Now, most of the other careers on this list you don't need a master's degree for, but with this one, you generally do have to get a master's degree in order to get hired. But overall, it's an amazing choice and it's especially good if you're into the theoretical side of things. Next on the list is going to be a computer network architect. And what they basically do is they design and build a data communication network such as local area networks, wide area networks, and things like that. Now they make about $109,000 a year, which is extremely good. There are 159,000 jobs available right now, which is huge but there's also only a 5% growth rate, but that's still pretty good considering there's so many jobs available already. But with that being said, the 5% growth rate is one of the lower ones on this list, and that can be a little bit alarming. And it's definitely not as impressive as the next one on the list, which is information security analysts. And what they basically do is they plan and carry out security measures that are used to protect the information of either a business or an organization. And as you can imagine with all the data leaks that have happened in the last few years, this is is a very, very important job. Now they're making about $98,300 a year on average, which is again, very, very nice. But they also have 112,000 current jobs right now, and they're expected to grow at a ridiculous clip of 32% in the next 10 years. Now again, four to 7% or so is about average around four to 6%. So 32% is ridiculously high. That's like way higher than the average growth rate of a normal job. Unbelievable. So there's going to be a ton of demand for this one in the next 10 years for sure, and probably in the next 20, 30, 40 years as well. Now the next one on the list is going to be computer systems analysts, and I know a lot of these actually sound very similar, but I promise you they're actually completely different. Now computer system analysts basically study an organization or a business's current computer system, and then they find ways of making it more efficient and effective. They're making about $88,000 a year on average, which is still really, really nice. It's one of the lower ones on this list, but it, that's still really good. And there is an insane 633,900 job openings right now. And on top of that, it's growing at about 9%, which is well above average. Now, this is a really solid option if you're just looking for a career, but I think this one out of all of them on the list might be the best one if you're planning on maybe opening your own business or going into more of the business side of things. And the reason for that is because it kind of combines technology with business business and it's a really good combination of both so you'll get experience and that can lead to a lot of really good things in the future. I'm back from the future. Now, next one on the list is gonna be your good old software developers. And software developers basically create the applications or the systems that run on a computer or another device like a phone or a tablet. They make around $105,500 a year, but the craziest number on this list is they have 1,365,000 total jobs right now available. And on top of that, they are growing at an insane clip of about 21% in the next 10 years. So when you're researching and looking into which one you wanna pursue, I think a big thing you want to look into is what kind of lifestyle do you wanna live? Because all of these are really good choices, but some of them are gonna have a lot more flexibility than others. And in my opinion, it's really difficult to beat software development because no matter what lifestyle you wanna live or what you wanna do in the future, this is going to give you a very good platform to launch off of. If you want a really chill job where you kind of just oversee a database, you know, there's not that many deadlines or anything like that, and you can still probably 
make six figures. There's plenty of jobs out there like that. Most of the jobs out there are technically going to be like 40 hours a week, but many of them are, you know, 20 hours a week of working and then 20 hours of just doing whatever you want. Eating right, working out, sleeping. And that's really amazing because you're still going to get all of the full-time benefits like medical insurance and 401k and all that good stuff, but you don't actually have to work that hard. We're in good company. Same thing goes if you want a remote job where you don't want to actually have to go into an office. You want to work remotely so you can be anywhere in the country or you can just stay at home. It probably won't pay as well, but it's nice to have that option just in case you want that in the future. Now, if you're really ambitious and you want to work a lot, there are a lot of options out there for you as well. There are a lot of jobs at major companies like Facebook, Google, etc. that pay north of $500,000 a year, and that is just not normal for a employee position. Usually only people who make that kind of money are either A, entrepreneurs that are business owners and they took a huge risk and they just happened to win, or people who are like high-level executives that worked for 20, 30 years and finally got to become a CEO or a vice president of a huge organization. And speaking of entrepreneurship, that's another option you can go with. Technology is one of the best industries to start your own business in. You're going to have the highest chance of success. There's just a ton of opportunities out there, and I think that you get the idea here. This applies to all the careers that I mentioned, but especially for software development. And then I'd say number two, very close number two is going to be the information systems, just because again, it kind of combines business with technology. And it's a really good background to have if you want to move into something like entrepreneurship. But overall, go ahead and check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas you have on the video or any comments, criticisms, etc. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.